go. All right, everybody asked questions about God mode, and they had questions about Asian trading zones. Now, Asian trading zones are really pretty simple, um, and I'll go through this pretty quick. The only thing you have to do is open up a blank chart, a one-hour chart. That's what you want to stick up there. And then you want to use the drawing tools. So you want to do, you want to grab, uh, which one, this one, you want to grab a rectangle, I have it as a favorite, anytime you star these, it puts them up here, so you can use them pretty quick, but I start with a rectangle, and then what I do, like up here, I just take this, and I draw it across, like such, just like that. Then I can change the colors, and I can change the opacity right here. And then I can change the border color, make it go away, right there. And I would take this, right, and then I'll place it wherever I want my top resistance to be, whatever it is for the day. And if you don't want to use it as top resistance and you just want it as a top border, that's fine. Leave it as a top border. But that's how you do that. That's how I made this one. It's just a rectangle. Now, the trading zones. Again, these are rectangles, right? This starts at 1800 and ends at 1900. That's the start of the Asian day. It is also the start of new trading sessions. Each one of these dashed lines is a new trading session. That comes from TradingView itself. And if you go down to TradingView, um, if we go to Settings, and we go to Style, I think this is where it is. Scale, time zones, and sessions. Session breaks. Dotted line. I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. I can change the color. Set it to your time zone. That's where these come in. Right here. So again, this is from 1800 to 1900 hours. The midday, the gray one. Is from 22 to midnight, 10 o'clock to midnight. And then the end of the trading day is from 9 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, I base all this on my time zone, right? So, um, I'm at minus 6, which is central. Same as Mexico. Um, and that's how I set this up. And I just do this for every day right every day and all I do is I highlight the date I hit clone I move it to the next day I type on it and we'll change this to the 26th like that and now I've got the 26th up here and then all I got to do is the same thing with these highlight this clone it drag it over and I do that every day. But what I usually do is I usually set it up a week ahead. I just started doing this months ago. And because I wanted to watch the trends. And I wanted to watch how things happened and at what times of the day things happened. So this is how all of this came about. And as I start using it, like now the market's really volatile. So I add in targets, where I think it's going to go, what I think it's going to do, and then I can follow my script, right? The script's going to tell me, and I can watch what happened when. So I can get an idea of what may happen here so I can be ready for it. Um, I trade differently than a lot of guys. I mean, I'm a scalper at heart. I'll enter 
40, 50 trades a day. I'll be in and out of trades in minutes sometimes. And yeah, I take some losses, a percent, two percent. Um, but I'll tell you what, the 40, 50, and 60 percents make up for it. So it's a little more work, but then I make a little more money. So um, it works for me. That's that's my style. That's That's what I do. And if you want to know where these, like, little icons and things come from, all that comes from over here. And you can pick, you know, whatever you want. It's all right here. If I want a little bullet, we're going to stick this up here. And if I want to make it bigger, like that. And then if I want to throw some text in there, I can. And I can go. Here we go. And I can change the size of it to 16. Go OK. And put it right there. That's how easy it is. It's really simple. That's definitely not hard. Um, and that's how I do the charts. I mean, it's kind of fun. I have fun doing it. Um, and it gives me a real strong heads up about what's going to happen and where we're going to go and what we're going to do. So that's that part. Now, second part. God mode. <coughs> Everybody seems to get stuck on God mode. This one's really easy. Okay. You want to set it up like I've got mine set up on the plot. These crosses here. That's here. Set it to cross. It was a circle. I don't like circles. I like crosses. That's really pretty easy. Um, caution dots. Leave the caution dots in there because they're going to tell you um, any kind of a <coughs> price change. So you'll get yellow dots. You'll get um, like in here, There's yellow and green dots that are signifying a trend change. Let me put this back up. And you can change the colors, do whatever you want, makes you, whatever makes you happy. The inputs, the inputs that I'm using on this chart, it's 21, 19, 15, and multi exchange. Because I want to know what's happening across different exchanges. So I leave that on. Well, that's that. That's real, real easy to do. Definitely, definitely not hard. And the style, I, look again, that's just it. And if I don't want to plot some of these things, I can turn them off. Pretty, that's again pretty simple um, but this is what I do for inputs and that's the way I keep it then if you watch this <coughs> the script called the short here this confirmed it called the long here it confirmed it if we go back up here call for a short here the volume was marginal on the candle but God mode picked it up here. So I don't always trade on the script call. A lot of times I'll wait for God mode. <coughs> Sometimes you're better off waiting for the second candle. Just like here. This call the long. You see the wicks were super long here. You see the caution buttons popped up. Call the short here. Short happened here. If you, that's this is the important part. Here it called long. Here it called the short. You could see the trend. You could see the indicator starting to tell you there was going to be a shift. I called the short, and God mode called it at the same time. I definitely would have jumped on this. Now, granted, it didn't last very long, but so what? Um, 
same thing here. We called for the long here. If you had jumped on it, you would have caught this up. Um, I'm going to switch over to, because I want you to see something else here that's really important. I'm going to go to the three-minute chart. Let me go over here. Uh, let me see if I can see it. There was something here that really caught my eye this morning. Um, you know, it caught my eye this morning. I'm not seeing it now. Let me go over here. Yeah, here. We had this dump here. And we went to a 13 candle, which was a trend change. Jump on it, long. We had a price slip. It slipped back. Grabbed it here. Now, if you had rode this out, this called for a long here. And you would have wrote it up. Called for a short. I called the short here. Godmo didn't call it till here. But if you had waited, you'd lost out on some price action. But then it jumped because of this wick. As soon as it flipped to a long. I would have been out of this and into a long and wrote it up. Anyway, um, these little quick ones I don't trade as much, but I would have tra I traded this one, and then I missed this one this morning. Um, but that's just me. That's the way I trade it. I'd have grabbed a short up here. As soon as I saw the red candle, I would have jumped on the short here and then wrote it down. And you have to watch the candles because the candles change colors, right? Now, we're still longing in here. It's still calling for a long in here. You've got a red outline, but you've got a blue inside. The blue inside is on a 13. Nines and 13s change color. If there's a trend change coming, they will change color. And then we, I just would have, actually, I would have still been in this from this morning so um that's all pretty pretty quick and easy this isn't isn't very hard and this is getting a little bit long-winded um five minute same thing right 13 change colors black is unconfirmed called for a long we had to write it a little bit and then she started to go up now we're back into a 13 she's calling for a trend reversal I don't see it here yet. I did this chart the same way I did the Asian chart. All right? These break lines are sessions. This is today's session right here. This is what we're in right now. This will change at 1800 hours. So right here, this will change. This will be the new day. So I think we're going to wick up to here. And then I think we're going to crash down to here. No doubt in my mind. But if I'm undecided or if I don't want to be trading as hard and I don't want to be doing all these quick little scalps and I'm going to pick a target before I go to bed at night, if I'm out of anything and I think she's going up, I might put a buy in here, one in here, one in here. And nine times out of ten when I wake up in the morning, come in here I'm in profit one way or another uh, unless she dumps but if she dumped then I, then I didn't lose anything so but I never let a trade go overnight while I'm asleep never um, this is what I stare at on a daily basis all I have all of them open this is a 34 inch monitor and this is the Asian chart so quick and easy so I hope you guys do it use it um, Make it however you want to make it. Make it so it fits for you. Make it so it's easier on your eyes and make sure that it keeps you focused on what's going on. Where's it going? I mean, if you want to draw lines on here, you can draw lines. Um, where is it going to go? What's it going to do? I mean, you can, hell, you can do whatever the hell you want to do with it. 
And if you want to do Fibonacci's on here, well, you can do that too. All right? You can grab it here, move it up, take it over. Make it so it works for you. Pretty quick and easy. Yeah, well, get rid of that. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And for all of you that have bought my scripts, I appreciate it. I appreciate the faith. Um, they work. You guys are making a ton of money with them. And I'm having a blast. I don't look at this as work. Um, I do this 14 hours a day. Um, I just have fun. I laugh at it. And I make a little bit of money. So with that being said, we'll see you guys all later. Thank you very much. And we'll uh, see you in the group.